Hey Care Bears, it's Hailey here. Welcome back to another Royal High video on my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for daily Royal High videos. Anyways, in today's video, I want to show you guys the 2024 method in getting a lot of diamonds in Royal High. Also, you could use this method for farming for the Everfriends set eventually for whenever it's coming out as this is posting and I'm recording this. It's not out yet, but you could use this for this method. I know I have actually shared with you guys a diamond farming method already for the Everfriends set, but I think this method method is also really good too so choose whichever one you'd like so let's go ahead and get into the video this routine is very similar to my other diamond farming routines i've shared recently in the past but i just wanted to give a little bit of an updated version for 2024 because it's a new year i haven't really done like a full-blown 2024 diamond farming routine in royal high so I think that it would be really awesome to like have a video for it, kind of like how I did a 2024 chest locations video. So let's go ahead and get into the first tip. Whenever you first log into Royal High, you need to do three things. The first one is spin the wheel. So over here is the wheel and I know it seems kind of pointless because this is to get accessories and everything, but it's actually very helpful because even if you land on something that you already have, you will at least get about like 300 diamonds and it doesn't really hurt. You don't lose diamonds in this. So let's see, what will I get? I got something I already have, but I did at least get 300 diamonds instead, which is still diamonds on the bright side. Then. The next thing you need to do after going to the wheel is actually wishing at the fountain. And I know you can probably lose some diamonds here, but it trusts me, like there's more of a good outcome than a bad one. You can either get a halo, XP, or diamonds, which is three good outcomes, or just lose diamonds, which is the worst outcome. Even getting nothing is better. So anyways, let's go ahead and wish at the fountain and see what we could possibly get. So let's make a wish. And I know that I give you guys halo charts and stuff but i like to just click randomly i'm too lazy to pull up a halo chart so don't take my advice here but if you know any of the halo charts i've shown some in videos which by the way i will be having an updated version on that soon but if you do know of those halo charts make sure to pull those up or pull up my video so let's go ahead and make a wish i'm gonna just click the pink teddyzilla i don't know anything i should be following a chart don't take my advice here but i just like to guess because i'm lazy anyways let's go ahead and see what we get we get xp which isn't bad that's actually pretty good so anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next thing out of the three things you need to do when you first log in which is going to either your apartment or your dorm to do your daily login i'm gonna go to dorms i just feel like it's quicker that way and so let's go ahead and teleport to now I'm actually in the middle of redecorating my dorm right now, so I don't really have a place to do my login. So I'm just gonna put my computer down real quickly and let's just do it on the floor here. But anyways, we're loading up Royal High right now. It's so pretty, I love the logo. And actually you can go full screen if you click the heart right here. Anyways, let's do student portal and click that we're present. There we go, we did our login. So anyways, let's close the laptop now. And that is the three things you need to do when you first log into royal high now after this to continue and start basically to start your routine you need to have a few things ready and on the go first thing go to your backpack make sure that you have a hairbrush this is important um, because there are some quests that you get in your diary or your planner right here that sometimes have to do with a hairbrush same for a toothbrush you can actually see i already have a toothbrush quest right here so what you need to do is you also need to get a toothbrush which i think I also have in my diary right here or not diary book bag so to get these two items you need to go to your dorm then click decorate and furniture and search up both of those things i suggest getting the cheapest versions of them which is this toothbrush and this hairbrush right here it is a little annoying that they cost diamonds but it is what it is you know i don't i don't make the rules here but they do cost diamonds unfortunately so these are the two items that you need to get those quests done and then after that you need to go to the castle heart and go to the uh food 
food machines or the vending machines or you can even go to the dorm bathing quarters honestly for this because they're also in the dorm bathing quarters but basically you need to stock up on food before you really get started because there are some quests where you need to eat food and also you also just need to eat food because if you zoom up here right next to like my face cam like right here where this heart is you can see there are some like little energy levels this is your hunger this is your hygiene and this is your sleep so all three of these things you need to keep a lookout for while playing and so anyways let's go ahead and stock up on food because not only do we need this food for quests we need it for sleeping and energy and just stuff like that so eating in general just this percentage here needs to be filled up so let's go ahead and continue purchasing it will take a while to stock up but it's definitely worth it because you'll never have to go back here again so anyways let's keep buying hopefully this doesn't take too long i suggest like switching between drink and food at the same time because they both give you like hunger levels anyway so i'm gonna just switch between these two and i will get back to you guys once i am stocked up on this food because i honestly don't have much food anymore because i've been trying to level up and stuff so i'll see you guys once i'm done so once you get all of that, make sure to put it all in your backpack like this so you can have it all stocked up and ready to go. So now here is a really good example of killing two birds with one stone here. So let's go ahead and go into the showers and the bathing quarters since we're here. Because as you can see, our hygiene is really low at the top is where that rubber ducky is. It is so low. It's at zero. Same for everything else. So what you need to do is go into a shower and take a shower, obviously. Obviously. So let's just go ahead like this and then while you are showering eat food so you can get to 100% on your food levels as well. So you're doing two things at once here and it's really really simple. So anyways I'm going to just continue eating a bunch of snacks while I'm showering so we can get up to 100%. So let's speed this process up a bit. <music> I got to 100% on eating, so a lot of XP is going into my XP bar now just from eating, and I leveled up, but I'm not even done showering yet. I have about 15% left to go, so it's crazy how much I just leveled up from purely eating and getting to 99% now. It went down from 100% already. That was pretty quickly. But anyways, let's go ahead and see how much XP we get from showering. There we go. Let's leave the shower and... We got a lot. We get to, oh my gosh, 73% full from 0 to 73%. Now what we need to do is sleep. And then right when we're done with that, we can start the next thing, which is quests. What you need to do is quests. I know this is like, sounds like a broken record here, but quests is like the best thing you can probably do to get diamonds. Leveling up is so much easier now that the new school is out with the whole quest system. So leveling up is the best way to make some diamonds in Royal High. So anyways, I'm going to sleep in my dorm, but I don't have my mattress. So let me just buy this cheap mattress, I guess. I don't know where my other mattress went. I swear I had one, but whatever. Anyways, let's play this oh wait i need to place it over here and sleep and also you can see that my hunger is already really low it's at 97 percent. not really low but already lowered and so i suggest if your like food percentage is like kind of down to eat while you sleep as well you can also eat while you sleep not just shower and so it helps me get back to 100 percent. and yeah so anyways i'm gonna sleep now and i'll be back with you guys once i am done sleeping all right so let's go ahead and finish up sleeping and we got a lot of xp i think we probably will level up again look how easy it is to level up i haven't even started actually like farming you know like i need to do quests still and i'm not going to do too many quests for the video because that would take a long time that's a lot of a video just to like you guys just want to know the routine okay i'm not going to like fully do it in this video so don't be surprised if i don't have like a million diamonds by the end of this video or anything this is just me showing a routine with a little bit of like i guess like an example so anyways the next thing you need to do is you need to do quests like i said and i would say maybe about like 50 quests if you want to go hard but 30 quests is the minimum um or just however long that you want to do like 
as long as you possibly can until you get tired of doing quests or you ran out of time and you need to like do your homework or like go to bed or something like that i recommend doing your quests i actually have a few easy quests right now which is pretty cool i need to go to the locker and put my textbooks in my arms so basically this one you do need an item for and um by the way that that quest was kind of like covered by my face cam i'm sorry about that but basically you do need to go to your locker and get a textbook and you can only get a textbook if you buy any items in the locker de like decor shop that has a book or like a notebook in it okay so let's go ahead and go to the shop and i will tell you guys which ones gives you the textbook to be able to do this quest the heart glasses book works and also the i have too many class books um and also this one works the edgy books and candle set and the totally not nerd glasses actually no this one isn't because this is actually just an accessory so this one doesn't count but this one counts this one counts this one counts and i think that's uh, this one counts too i'm pretty sure that's it and i'm sorry if i missed any but basically like anything with a notebook in it but not the books and pen set because that's also its own accessory so anyways i'm gonna remove something real quickly so i can show you guys i just remove this and then move one of the books things let's see i will do the heart glasses and book stack right here and anyways let's click it and you can see put away textbook and locker let's go ahead and then click it again to take the textbook there we go and that is how you get the textbook so that is how you get a textbook and now all you need to do is go into rainy day classroom because that's the only classroom in the new school so far that you can actually head into with textbooks in your arms so that's how you do that quest it's pretty simple but it's just a little confusing because you don't know how to get a textbook at first so i'm glad that that one showed so i could show you guys how to get a textbook because a lot of people get confused by that one anyways now now, this is my favorite part about doing quests when it gets so convenient. Right now, all my quests I could literally do in the castle's heart, I believe. Let's look again. We have the fountain drinking, we have the, the brush your teeth, and we have the vending machine drinks. All of these we could do right here, which is awesome. What we need to do is go to the cafeteria area, not in it, but you know, around it. And this is where the vending machines are in the castle's heart, and I have to grab a drink. That's what it said to do in the little quest message. So there we go. We finished that quest. And then we have the fountain drinking one and there is a fountain over here so let's go ahead and drink at this fountain real quickly um it's a little difficult with heels but we're doing it okay there we go and then the last one is to brush your teeth and you know it's really awesome because you can brush your teeth right here honestly i think unless you have to go in front of a like sink or something let me let's see how does this work do are we able to okay actually no i was wrong we have to go in front of a sink i forgot about that part so we gotta go to the bathing quarters in front of a mirror to brush our teeth um it's a little unfortunate that there is no like mirror or like bathroom in the main area of castle's heart because then i would have been able to do all three but i forgot about this so we have to go in front of a mirror to brush our teeth so let's go ahead and there we go now it's working anyways though do about 30 to 50 quests or as long as possible until you get bored and that is the first main part and then while you are doing your quests in the middle of doing them if you ever happen to be in the bathing quarters for one of your quests for like for example like brushing your teeth or going to the bathroom make sure you shower because you can see my high my hygiene's already going down it says 78 percent so i really suggest going to the shower while you're in the middle of doing a quest in this area and also make sure you're eating too i know i can't eat right now because i'm literally brushing my teeth but i would definitely eat if i could um and i wish i could go shower while brushing my teeth actually i want to dry it but actually no i can't i can't i can't leave the mirror but yeah so anyways i'm gonna brush my teeth and also another little tip is if you ever end up needing to be in your dorm for anything like for example to vacuum uh like the the floor because there is one quest where you have to vacuum make sure to sleep in your dorm because you need to also keep track of these things here and make sure you're just eating throughout everything okay you need to keep track of all this right here up above like and so please 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 keep track of those because it's really easy to forget about them and they give you so much xp it's crazy so anyways let's 
Hurry up and finish brushing her teeth now. All right, I finished that one and you know what's perfect? The next quest is to eat food and that's perfect for me because I need to eat food anyways. I'm at 73%. So let's do that. And then while we're doing this quest and eating, we're gonna go take a shower. So this is just a little example of what to do when you're working on quests and also trying to pay attention to your hunger and your hygiene and also how much sleep you have. So make sure that you just pay attention to those and also pay attention to what quests you have to do. So that is my tip. Anyways, once you are done with 30 to 50 quests or you're just bored of it, you're tired of doing them after a while, I suggest going to Sunset Island. I think Sunset Island is a great place to farm for and it's honestly really fun with the new themes now that we're at it. It doesn't feel like too old, you know, it's not too boring anymore. And also they recently updated Sunset Island where you have your backpack now so before you go to Sunset Island, stock up on some more food because you can actually eat now while you're at Sunset Island. So you can keep track of your hunger there and get XP even when you're like in the middle of an intermission or something. So like whenever you're in the middle of an intermission in Sunset Island, make sure you eat some food. So I'm actually going to play around to Sunset Island and um, I will show you guys a little example of eating in between rounds and stuff so that you can keep track of that and get XP still even when you're not actually doing anything in Sunset Island. I just got done doing a Sunset Island round and the theme was haunted. I did not place, but it's okay because I can still get some extra XP by eating. So let's go ahead and pull out some snacks to eat. And you can see I will actually be able to eat here. Look at this. This is perfect. So I can still level up even while I'm in Sunset Island. I mean, you can already level up in Sunset Island for like just basically being in a pageant round, but I mean leveling up by eating. You are not able to eat before in Sunset Island until this recent an update so this is super duper exciting and let's see if i can get to 100 percent with just these three chocolate bars real quickly come on i'm at almost 80 percent just now got to 80 percent will i be able to by the way another fun fact you can see how many bites you have left if you hover over just zoom up on this you can see in parentheses four bites left on this chocolate bar so let's go ahead and eat the chocolate we are almost at 100 and 100 percent we are good to go. It's a little unfortunate though because we cannot sleep, I don't think, from what I remember, it's just like an animation of you sleeping, but it's not like you're actually sleeping. So you can't actually sleep in Sunset Island, which is really sad. And there's no way of showering either. I really feel like they should set these campsites up to be able to actually sleep in them so that we can get some extra XP on the side. I mean, what's the harm in that since, you know, we are able to sleep in trading hubs anyway? So yeah, anyways, after playing sunset island i suggest doing a few rounds of musical chairs it's way easier now to actually play musical chairs just teleport to the rainy day classroom on the map now from sunset island and i recommend maybe around 10 rounds of this if you really wanna so anyways let's go ahead and teleport there real quickly i highly suggest also if you ever end up getting the rainy day champion quest to do that quest because you get so much xp for doing that quest in the game so make sure you do that one but yeah, so after that, if you still feel like trying to get diamonds, but you don't want to do any of those, I suggest go trading and try to do the paperclip challenge. Because when you do the paperclip challenge, you can make some profit, honestly. All you gotta do is buy something that's currently in the Valentine's shop, ask for something like that is, you know, not in the shop anymore, but it's still cheap, and then trade that away for some diamonds. And there you go. As long as you make more diamonds than you pay for, you made a profit. And that's how profit trading works. And that is my last tip it's not part of the routine but if you really feel like making some extra diamonds on the side that is how you can do it by profit trading make sure you are trading away and making more than what you're trading away anyway so that is my diamond farming routine for 2024 as of february if you guys enjoyed this video and if it helps you at all please make sure to let me know by leaving a like on this video and subscribing if you haven't already for daily roblox videos anyways that is all for me bye care bears